Hey guys, welcome to level 2 algebra skills playlist. We're going to be looking at uh, logs and some of the applications. Um, and the main kind of idea that I wanted to talk to you guys about is this particular formula just going to keep popping up when you're doing uh, logs and applications. And this formula is something that you probably have seen before, but just in different versions of it. So basically, imagine you're dealing with money. So this is your um, whatever you're starting with, you're starting money. And then this R here is your rate, whether it's actually increasing or decreasing. And then this N here, sometimes it's put as T uh, as time. And then this is your final uh, amount, final dollar that you have. So a couple of things that's really important to uh, know is for the increase or decrease, what you have is the R itself has actually got another formula as well. Sometimes you see it. Sometimes they actually write it like this. If it's increasing, they write it as 1 plus R over 100. And then when it's decreasing, they do 1 minus R over 100. All right. So the best way to do it is like do a couple of questions. And I'm, and I'm just kind of going to randomly go through some, throw some numbers and just do it and then see if we can actually do a word problem at the end of it. So let's say uh, you have $10,000, right? You've got $10,000 and you go to the bank and you do a term deposit and then they say that the interest is 3% for one year, okay? So this is what your interest that you're gonna get is for 3% for one year. So what we're trying to figure out is, um, for example, after five years, if you just leave the money as it is, but just keep reinvesting the, the money that you keep getting every year, we want to know how much you actually have after five years. Okay, so basically the question is, after five years, what is your final amount going to be? So we put, put it into the formula. So A in this case is, we don't know what it is. But we do know what P is. P is what's the money that you started with. So I'm just going to start putting that here. So that's P. Now 3% increase. So it, if it's increased, then we're going to have to use this particular formula. So it would look something like this. 1 plus 3 over 100. And then we said after 5 years. So that means the T value or N. Well, in this case, we can just use N. N is 5. So we, we just substitute it. All right, so when we substitute it, we're going to get uh, P R N, but so we can say A is equal to 10,000 multiplied. Now, I know that R, like it can get, get a bit confusing with this because there's an R there and then there's an R there, but um, I guess I should have actually used a different, different R, but it's just the rate, all right? And the best way to do it is by actually using this particular thing to go so it's better to actually use this formula just to start off with and and trust me guys you will get the hang of it after a while so you've got one plus three over hundred now if you've been doing um, uh, num numeric reasoning at level one you know how you do the percentage increase and decrease well this is basically what you use for the percentage increase and decrease all right but this is now raised to the power of five so we've got 1 plus 3 over 100, which can be written as 1.03. And I'm hoping that this 1.03 is starting to ring a bell, that when you increase by a percentage, you just add, that if, you know, I mean, if you think about GST, you know how it was, GST was 15% increase. So we would just go 1.15. So in this case, 1.03 says that it's a 3% increase. And if it was GST, which was a 15% increase. Anyway, so doing this, we're going to get A. We can actually solve what it is, uh, which is going to be 10,000 multiplied by 1.03 to the power of 5. So that gives us $11,592. In uh, some cents, whatever that cents was, it was 75 cents, 74 cents. All right. So obviously, we're not actually using any logs here, but this is what um this is what the final value is after five years however we could when i actually ask the question like this for example so let's say my the starting money that i started with is still ten thousand dollars but i want to know how long it's going to take so i want to figure out how long it's going to take me 
to get to $20,000. So the rate is still 3%, all right? So the rate is still increasing by 3%, and I still started with uh, $10,000. So I'm going to put this down as 20,000 equals 10,000 multiplied by that 1 plus 3 over 100. So I can just put that as 1.03 to the power of n. And I guess this is where we're going to actually end up using our logs. Because the first thing I'm going to do is 20,000 divided by 10,000, which equals to 1.03 to the power of n. Uh, 20,000 divided by 10,000 is just 2. Uh, let me just put that in 10,000 in nice red there. So we've got 2 is equal to 1.03 to the power of n. And at this point, we can actually take logs of both sides. So this would be written as log 2. This would be written as log 1.03 to the power of n. Bring the n to the front, which means we've got log 2 equals n multiplied by log of 1.03. And then rearrange it, and we get n is equal to log 2 divided by log 1.03 so we go to log 2 divided by log 1.03 and it gives us 23 years 23 point well 23.44 years so we can say that for the money to double from 10,000 to 20,000 at that current interest rate it's going to take 23 years now that's a long time but that's what it is and of course remember in the in the real life you also got to pay tax which means uh you're probably going to lose another probably 0.65 depending on what your um, tax rate is you could actually lose quite a bit of money as well like if you're in the highest bracket i think you only get two percent which makes things even worse okay so what other things what are the so there's only three kind of questions they could ask so this is the first one First one, uh, when I say the first one I'm talking about here, they actually give you uh, P, R, and N. And then they actually ask you to find out what, I uh, just realized a mistake here. That should have been N. Anyway, so the first um, first idea is that, you know, they give you P, R, N, and they ask you to find what A is. Uh, or in this case, second case, they actually give you, ask you to find out what N is, and they give you all the rest of the details. So now I'm going to do one where we actually try and figure out what R is. Okay, so to do that, we're still going to start with P of 10,000. Uh, and let's say I want, um, what do you call it? I want my final amount to be $20,000. Okay, but I want this in 10 years. If I want it in 10 years, what should the rate be, the term deposit rate be? All right, so let's have a look. So we're going to put A is equal to P R N. Now we've got 20,000. Well, actually, 20,000 is, we've kind of done 20,000 again. Let's do something else. Now nah, we'll stick to 20,000. It's all right. So 20,000 equals 10,000 multiplied by R to the power of 10. So remember, I want to double my money in 10 years. So I rearrange this, and I'm going to get 20,000 divided by 10,000 equals r to the power of 10. So 20,000 divided by 10,000 is that. So 2 is equal to r to the power of 10. And with our log rules, what we could do is we could use logs, but I think the easiest one is just rewrite, the, rewrite this as 2 to the power of 1 over 10. So when we do that, we're going to get, where's my calculator? We've got 2 to the power of 1 over 10, which is actually 1.01, 71. 71, I might just get one more decimal, 8. So that's the rate, right? But if we actually look at it, this is actually like this is just the R value, but if we actually look at it as a rate, what we need to do is we actually need to just look at these three, well, I mean, these four values, uh, but because it's a zero, we're not really worried about it. So we're gonna say that rate has to be, the interest rate, or the term deposit rate has to be 7.18% um, for this 
for you for us to actually double double the amount of money all right guys those are the three types of um, questions they could potentially ask with applications with logs now I do want to do some word questions but I'm mindful of the time but what I might do is like um, just keep an eye on the algebra level 2 uh, pl prep playlist I will actually do some uh, word questions based on this all right but as for now this is basically it for this video as always uh, drop a like for this video and share this video subscribe to keep up with the latest content guys and uh, there should be some playlists popping up with a lot of good revision material there so check them out and thank you for watching